Good morning! I'm feeling very rich housewife. Well, I only wish that it was longer, the road, like all the way to the floor, because I think those are so much more cozy and comfy. Okay, what's up with the bun? Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've never shot from this angle, so it's very weird. I don't know what to do with my hands. As you guys can tell from the title, today I'm going to be trying on every single dress that I own, minus my winter dresses, because they're still packed away in storage. Everyone on my Instagram feed has been posting fall inspo videos for fashion. Hamro Kathmandu climate is not quite there yet, thank God. I do want to go through every single dress that I own, only keep dresses that I feel that are an eight or above, because if you can't tell, I'm in the mood to declutter, and only keep items in my closet that I absolutely love, spark joy. Huge shout out to Kelsey Simone, I got this video idea from her because she did something similar. It got me thinking to do the same thing. I will probably also be posting on my Instagram story to get some help from you guys because there will be some outfits that I'm kind of iffy about and I'll probably need your help whether I should keep or sell. Also, I would have loved to film this in my room where my closet is for easier access, but I barely have any natural lighting in there, so my living room will have to do. I just changed the angle of the camera because I think the lighting this way is better, more even, as opposed to from that kuna. Starting with one of my favorite dresses, I thrifted this back when I was in New York, so like five years ago. I love this dress, like the sweetheart neckline and has this floral print all over, the fabric is nice. I love the way it hugs my body. It's just a very flattering dress. Just because I've had an item for a long time, something like this, um, doesn't mean that I'm gonna get rid of it because I do get a lot of wear out of this. I think it's such a pretty summer fall dress. I've paired this with a leather jacket before and boots and made it more edgy fall and I've also worn it just like this for the summertime. So this dress is a no-brainer. One of the best things about this dress is that I don't have to wear a bra with it because it's so body hugging. I love when I don't have to wear a bra with a dress. Okay, next up we have this very bright number. This is a cow neck dress and it hits about right below my knee. I actually tailored this dress, went to New Road, picked out the fabric, and the fabric is kind of intimidating because there's a lot happening. The colors are bright, the print is also very bold. I don't have anything like this in my closet. I've only worn it twice. I do love this dress. I love the way it fits my body. Like, you can't tell me that this looks tailored. I would love to give you guys contact info for my tailor, but I don't think that she's uh, taking on work anymore. And I have to mention that because anytime I post something about having a outfit tailored or made, you guys are always flooding my DMs asking for the contact info. And I swear, I'm not gatekeeping. My tailor just doesn't take on too many clients at the same time. Anyway, so love this dress. Love how fun the fabric is. Definitely a keeper. I'm so glad that I'm doing this because I completely forgot about this dress. I will definitely be reaching for her more. Moving on. Okay, I'm realizing that I have very bright colored dresses. I'm always saying I'm such a neutral girl. I have only black, whites, and grays and browns, but now that I'm looking at my dress collection, I have a lot of vibrant dresses. It's so pretty. It screams summer. This was also tailored by my tailor. Got the fabric in New Road and this one. I think I love even more because it's longer, but I don't know why I didn't wear it once this entire summer, which makes me kind of sad. This is definitely not the color palette for fall, but I love this dress. I love the way it hugs my body. No bra again, and it does have these adjustable um, straps. I love, love, love this dress, and it has this very um, cottony fabric, and I love the little slit that it has. Ugh, why didn't I wear it in the summer? <laughs> it still gets very hot here, so who knows? Maybe I will throw it on one of these days, but it's gorgeous, I love. I can't be bothered to wear Spanx throughout the video, it's too hot. So if my little fupa offends anyone, please feel free to click away from the video. 10 out of 10. Switching gears for a moment, this is a very mini satin dress. I got this from Boohoo when I was still living in the States. It's called a cowl neck. If you can't tell, I clearly have an obsession with cowl neck, this kind of drooping neckline. I think it's super flattering. I guess I bought with the intention to wear it when I go out clubbing or Friday night. It's super pretty. It still fits like a glove. This is the back. It's just too short for me. I can't see myself ever reaching for this. I'm definitely going to be selling this. It's very pretty. It's just that I would have loved if it was just floor length as opposed to this mini. Everything that I'm going to be selling is going to be up on my Supriya's thrift account. I don't even know if I can fit in it. Okay, I'm like scared to zip it all the way. It's pretty much the same dress as the black one, but in this cheetah. Is this cheetah or leopard? I always get confused. Oh, oh it zips. It zips. Clubby Friday night out vibes with like a pair of black heels or boots, whatever your vibe is. But it's definitely not me anymore. So it's gonna be on my thrift account. I can't believe I still fit into it though. Yay! My throat is getting dry from talking so much. If you're wondering, this is um, Butterfly Blue Tea. It's been my go-to because it doesn't have any caffeine. 
and it's just nice and soothing. We have this little number from Zara. Super comfortable. The fabric is so nice and soft. I love the length. I love the fabric. I like the print. I wore it to death when I was on vacation because I just can't see myself wearing this in Kathmandu so much. Maybe because it's giving Alikati like nighty vibes. Do you guys get that? I'm getting a little like night suit vibes. The straps of this dress is way too long, that's why I have it knotted on each side. Otherwise, this dress would be like this low. But because I've only worn it a handful of times, I would like to keep this dress in my collection because of the length of the dress. I like the little slit that it has on the side and how it feels on my skin. But honestly, I won't be surprised if I start wearing this to bed because this is... I'm looking in the mirror and this is giving me nighty. Next up, we have this beautiful dress from Zara. When I saw this dress, I absolutely fell in love with it. The color, and this was before the Barbie movie, by the way. Length of it, the fact that it has like a little side slit, a very modest little slit on the side. It just fits like a glove and it has this like, what is this called? Corset? No. Yeah, corset type of vibe here. Very flattering, especially if you're somebody like me, uh, if you're bottom heavy. This is the back of the dress. It's just very pretty. I've worn it so many times. I've worn it for casually walking around in Thailand. I've worn it to a wedding reception with some diamonds. I just love, love, love this dress. I don't know whether I should keep or sell, which is conflicting because I know she's like a nine out of 10. I don't know what to do. This is when you guys come in handy. I'm gonna be posting it on my story and asking you guys. Okay, I just posted the story. Let's see what you guys have to say about it. Moving on, almost identical dress, but this one was made in Nepal. I got this stitched at Kavya Wande Boutique in Patan. Fabric from Nirod. Honestly, like I like the flow of this dress better. I have so many good memories in this dress. I wore this to Aisha Dizu's wedding in Abu Dhabi. I'll insert a picture here. It's an olive shade and not wearing any bra. But because the material is so thin, I do think I need spanks with this because it's like showing everything. Length is literally perfect, so right above my toes. When I wear heels, it's the perfect length. I love this dress. She's definitely 10. I just realized that I could wear this dress off the shoulder like this. Is it kind of a vibe? Or your dress with a dirty sock in Garibani, it doesn't suck. There's a dog on the front and a little dry cleaning and we'll get that fixed right up. We have this polka dot moment. I love the sleeves, the sheer sleeves. There's something so like elegant and feminine. This is probably the only polka dot item that I have in my closet. And I love the sweetheart neckline. It's very feminine and very girly. Pro tip for anybody who has a body type like me and you're a little conscious of your fupa, getting dresses that have stitching like this, I don't know if it's catching up on camera, but there's a lot of like extra fabric, is always flattering because you can just adjust the fabric to kind of cinch in your waist. I do love this dress. It instantly reminds me of my TikTok days with Baru. Just don't think that it's me anymore. Although it is very pretty. I keep saying this over and over again, but maybe it was a full length dress. This one won't be staying in my collection. Okay, next we have the most iconic dress in my closet because I was proposed to in this exact dress. And yes, I was wearing an overcoat for the majority of the proposal and only got to take it off later. But the white linen dress from Pretty Little Thing for a sizing reference. In most of these dresses, I wear a size small. Only some pieces are a medium. This dress is a US size four. It's made out of 100% linen. And I love my linen pants, linen dresses. It's just a very simple fabric to wear in the summertime. Funny enough, Bebu hates this dress. He calls this the mummy dress. He's called it the toilet paper dress. He does not like this dress that much. I think it's so fun, especially if we were, we were to go to a beach party, yacht party, or whatever. But when am I ever gonna go to a beach party or yacht party? You know what I mean? It's one of like those interesting pieces in my closet. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna ask you guys, hold on. The thing is, I've only worn it for that proposal. You guys are throwing me off now. That polka dot dress is 64% keep and 36% of you is saying to sell it. I thought you guys are gonna help me decide to get rid of the stuff, not to keep everything. I'm so torn. I should keep it, right? I was proposed to in this dress. Even if the guy who proposed to me hates it. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just wait for you guys. We've got this satin little number. This I call this my little grown-up dress. I've worn this dress countless times. I've worn this to a friend's engagement party, birthday party. It's just like this plunging neckline, but it's not so plunging where like everything's out. Even if it's short, I still find it very mature because of like the sleeves and the collar. I don't know what to do. They will yes or no? I like this, yes. I'm gonna just go with this one. Not wearing bra. Keep it or no? No? This and the mommy dress is the only two white dresses I have. 
so sweet. Don't keep it. White is not sustainable. Yeah, but white is so pretty. Keeping in theme of the white, I guess I have one more white dress. This dress is so adorable. I just don't think it's flattering on me. So for that, it's gonna get like a two. I do love this little scoop neck detail. I've never, never worn this dress even once. It's just been sitting in my closet. It's one of those dresses was like, uh, I'll lose weight and I'll wear it. You know what I mean? Because it does accentuate the fupa a little bit uh, more than I'd like. But if I was pregnant and I wore this dress, that would be so cute. Are you kidding? It's a stretchy material. It's ribbed. It's cute. I honestly probably would wear it as a top. If I just wore it as a top, that might be cute. Right? Because this is so flattering. Can I just cut it? Okay, no, Supriya. Well, the whole point of this video is to get rid of stuff. So, but this is so pretty. And I don't need a bra for it, which I love. We next have this dress. It's giving house a CB. It's very flattering. The material is looks like linen. It's super stretchy. These gold button detailings in the front. And because of the ruching, it's very flattering for my body type. I love this dress. I've worn it to death already. I wear it down right now with boots. Or if I'm dressing it up more, I wear heels with it. 10 out of 10. We have this very Jilibili number. This is probably the most sparkly item in my closet. I bought this in my last trip in Bangkok for New Year's. I haven't gotten to wear it yet. It's a shorter length dress, but I do think it's cute for this thing New Year's or if there's like a sparkly themed event. It's not gold and it's not silver. It's this in-between champagne color. It's light cowl neck, which again, I find very flattering. It's not like definitely spanks on the course of I just wished it hugged my curves a little bit better. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of giving me box body. Keep her in case there's an event like New Year's or something that requires this much sparkle. <laughs> Racer back type dress. It goes all the way to my shin. Honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything. This is from the brand Pull and Bear. I love the color. It's giving taupey, earthy taupe. It's just like my go-to errand dress if like Kazan Podiwani Hatarma. Um I will grab this dress because it looks like I put in more effort than I actually did. We have this very bright number. I think this color is called like azul, blue azul or something like that. But whatever it is, the color is beautiful. I actually got this as one of my first PR from a Nepali brand. If this dress looks familiar to you, it's because I wore this in a Nepali clothing PR haul. I'll link it down below, but this color is gorgeous. And I think that's why I've kept it for such a long time because I have nothing this vibrant in my closet. The length is just way too short for me. Like my bum is basically sticking out. And on my pocket, I just pulled the dress down. But as soon as you start walking, it kind of rises up. I do love the neckline. It's super pretty and flattering. And I love the capped sleeves. The material is kind of like, um, it's not woolen, but it's almost like this knitted sweater material. So this would be a really pretty dress for the fall. Honestly tempted to cut it into a shirt and wear it with like my uh, black leather pants. I think that would look so cool. Conflicted again, but that requires it to be altered. But only because the color and the neckline is so pretty. Yeah, I'm keeping her. I'm sorry guys, I'm keeping this one. Sticking to the more thicker material dresses that I own, this lavender dress is from the brand Misguided. It's also very short. I don't know what I was thinking buying all these short dresses. I was into it, but now I'm not that much into it, but I'm just picturing this dress with knee-high boots and I think it looked really cool. I love the neckline, whatever this neckline is called, I don't know, but I think it's super flattering. But yeah, she's definitely a keeper. Sticking to the same racer back tee type dress, a shorter dress, but I do like the length better than the super ugly kuta was literally all the way up here. I forgot about this dress. It's such a nice mito vibrant green. Green like you, so it's not emeralds, but regardless, I love it. I like the fact that I can wear it as a dress or tuck it into pants and wear it as a shirt. She's a keeper. I don't know what was going on in my brain, but I literally got three different dresses like this. This is also for misguided. It's the same thing in black. The go-to basic dress for running around with errands, or I could just throw a pair of sneakers and a jean jacket and make it casual, or dress it up with a pair of stilettos. I've actually worn this out on a Friday night with heels. A cute little bag, and I'm good to go. I clearly like this neckline on me. I think it's very flattering and mature. This is taking much longer than I thought, so I'm gonna take a quick lunch break. I'm be right back. Done with my lunch break, and we are moving on to our next dress, which is this satin little number midi dress that goes all the way down to my shin. The basic but very pretty. Um, it's got this like little tie detail. Also, one of those dresses where I don't have to wear a bra, which I love. She's a solid eight, so she's staying. Okay. This dress I've worn a handful of times. 
It's a little bit gel to put on because strappy high details in the back and I need Bebu's help. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that this used to be a sari. Let me just roughly put it on. An old sari from my mom-in-law's collection. And I haven't put it on, that's why it doesn't look right, but I will insert some pictures of me wearing it. I love this dress. It's made by my tailor. It has like this bodice kind of boning detail work here at the top. Super long. It's a floor-length dress. She's a keeper. Okay, another black dress, a bodycon like lace detail dress. I bought this years ago, but I just realized I have not worn it even once. Nepalma, super nice and flattering. Stretchy material goes down to a little bit below the knee. Body hugging and flattering. I love the little lace detail. Glad that I made this video because now I just realized that I have this dress and I should probably wear it. It's very mature orange dress. It's from the brand Trouvé. It's very sophisticated and very modest and it's very comfortable. It has this empire waist like elastic band here draping details in the front. I think this would look very pretty with like a little pair of kitten heels of the color. It screams summer. Just wish the neckline would just tap or stay, you know, instead of like moving and shifting all over the place. I would I wish it would just tap or stay like this. My question is, do I keep it? Hmm. I don't know about this one. Let me ask people. This beautiful simple dress from Affair Studio, which is a Nepali brand. I'm so proud when I see brands like this that are made in Nepal. The silhouette is gorgeous. It's very much giving like Jackie O vibes in my opinion. Back is nice and open. It's giving a little bit of sexy, but in the front it's very modest and I love the length. It goes all the way down to my shin. But I just got this as a gift and, and I also received one of their chocolate brown dresses. It's a t-shirt simple dress. I would have loved to show you guys that, but it's in the wash. She's a nine and she's staying. Okay, next up we have this really pretty summer springtime dress. I got this from I think H&M. I've worn this like a thousand times, especially when I'm on vacation because it just feels, it screams vacation to me. Very flattering neckline. It holds the girls up nice. I usually wear it without a bra. Please picture it without a bra. The length is where I like it, all the way at Lala, so she's a keeper. This muted green dress is a recent addition in my closet. This dress is from Zara. Absolutely love this dress, like everything down to the neckline, to the fabric. It's kind of this wrinkled material. I don't know what it's called exactly, but I think this is one of the most flattering dresses on my body type, on a lot of body types. Really, um, the color is so nice and timeless. I typically wear this casually with, a, with my comfy pair of Birkenstocks, a cute little shoulder bag, and I'm good to go. I've worn this countless times on my Instagram reels. When I go out, I see myself wearing this dress for the next five years. Similar to that dress, we have this beige colored knit dress. I think is meant to be a beach cover up. This is from the brand Misguided. I just love, love this dress. I wore this in Abu Dhabi in the sand dune. Got amazing pictures with this dress because it just fit the vibe so well. Definitely see through because it's knit. I've gotten so many questions about this bra and I can't remember where I got it, but I know that I picked it up when I was living in the States. Just like a basic nude strapless bra, a total must have in my opinion. It just helps when you're wearing dresses like this and you don't want, like my pet peeve is when that bra strap shows, it, it like cheapens every outfit. I love this dress. I can see myself wearing it on the beach, on vacation, somewhere where it's nice and hot. She's a nine. This gorgeous dress is also a recent addition in my closet. And the reason why I'm holding it up like this is because I can't zip it all the way up. And Babu's in a meeting right now, so I don't want to disturb him. It is an actual workout to get into this dress because it's not super stretchy, but the way it hugs your body once you have it on is so beautiful. I will insert a clip of me wearing the dress. You guys went crazy on my Instagram when you saw this dress. It goes all the way down to almost my feet. I just think that it's such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe because you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I would wear this a little bit more dressed up with a nice pair of earrings or a necklace, maybe some white heels and I love her, she's so pretty. This is the last dress for my closet. If I'm missing anything, it's because it's in the laundry or it's at J House. It is super chic. I have never ever worn it. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it for fall and winter. This dress is from Calvin Klein. It's a size two, which I typically wouldn't fit into, but because it has a alikati of a stretch, I can fit into it. It's definitely not something that I would go with for. It just looks so smart and chitty kaparigo. It's at that perfect length, if you guys can see. I can either make this a little edgy with a pair of platform boots or go like a classier feminine route with black heels. But yeah, this would be perfect for a like dinner date or somewhere definitely a little bit more formal. But like, I don't know, let me know if what you think about it. Because I haven't worn it once, I definitely do wanna try to style it ikjiti before getting rid of it. Just the way it hugs my body is very flattering. I feel very 
girl boss. That pretty much concludes today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm pretty sure this video is going to turn out to be a little long because you know me, buck buck, even when I tell myself to cut things short a little bit, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if I should make this a series and do this with made of jeans and my shirts. If you're interested in any of the items that I shared today, definitely check out my thrift account. I will link that below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, it really takes it out of you. Trying on all your clothes. Oh my god, a breath. As I'm organizing my closet, I realized I missed quite a few dresses. I thought all of them were in the wash, but I guess they were underneath the mountain of clothes in my closet. So I just quickly, without trying them on, because I'm sorry for being lazy, it's just hard to kiss you, and the momos in my stomach are full, and so just don't mind me, but it's gonna be on the hanger. Numero uno is this gorgeous, very senorita dress, teal colored moment that if you watch my Mumbai vlog then you recognize me freaking over it in the dressing room I love this dress next up is this dress from the brand sorry I can't remember the brand but they send me a bunch of PR and this was one of the dress I don't have anything like it it's very pretty and it has these like very intricate cutouts I'll put up a video of me wearing the dress and the back is all kinds of cut out <laughs> love this dress I think it'd be so nice for the fall because the fabric is a little bit on the thicker side I, I don't have a lot of knit dresses but this is another one of them honestly you don't need more than two because you can't really picture wearing a sto Pwale Pwal Boko Luga in Nepal unless you're at like a music festival as a swimsuit cover-up it's definitely a 10 when styled right I'm so all cheeky. Other people to wear like literally 50 dresses and I'm over here. I wore like 25 and I'm tired. This dress is a vintage piece from the brand BB. Super cute. It's like that, like this knitted fabric. It's like blues, blacks, and whites in it. Not that long. It'd be so cute with cowboy boots. A cute little shrug over it. Love, love, love. Vintage thrifted finds like is more near and dear to my heart because instead of just like going into a store or buying it online, I went to a thrift shop and hunted for it. This one was a hand-me-down for Mirosano Mamo. Clearly, she's very fashionable. It's harder for me to let go of those pieces. And lastly, this dress from Primark. It's this beautiful floral blue and white dress. It's super feminine with the frilly keep on to say sleeves i will be selling this on my thrift account if you guys watch that vlog then you know that i was struggling to style this and it just doesn't feel like me anymore but it is a gorgeous gorgeous dress it's very pretty i think i've just outgrown it so i will be selling this okay, now that i'm finally done i'll organize my closet now mm -hmm.